What is up, everybody? It's Craig from Nine Volt Games, and today I'm going to be reviewing Resident Evil, the GameCube remake. Um, I know now that there is somebody who actually hasn't played this game yet, so I'm going to try and keep this as spoiler-free as possible, and I will only play the beginning area or intro. <laughs> I just had a really dusty candy. <laughs> I'm going to only play the intro area of the game. Yeah. Resident Evil. The one in the Arkley Mountains. You know, where the dogs chase you. Huh, alright, alright, that's enough. Doesn't matter. I don't even have my memory card in. Let's play as Jill because she has the interesting alternate opener, and that's what I'll do. Now, what I like about this game is that you need to shut up. Fucking remote. Okay. What I like about this game is that largely the story remains unchanged, except for a few minor tweaks, which I don't want to get into, but I believe her name is Lisa, is one of them. Um, and anybody who's played both knows exactly what I'm talking about. The actual core of the story is exactly the same, and uh, a lot of the sequences are still left in exactly the same, and uh, I definitely appreciate that when they're doing a remake of a game, especially a ground-up remake like this. Um, one of the big added bonuses to this, obviously, is the graphics, and when this game came out, it was like, it was so insanely good. And even by today's standards, it's still pretty good. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and skip this video and go right into the game. Go right into the mansion. Come on. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. Oh, is that easy? Love it. Captain Wesker, who is Chris? What is this place? <laughs> Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Changed some of it, so... Hey, Wesker, where's, where's Chris? Chris? <laughs> Jill, no. You don't, don't want to go, go back, back out, out there. <laughs> We've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. All right. Secure this area. Stay sharp. Like I said, everything's the same. <laughs> um, aside from Resident Evil Zero, it's pretty much the last time you ever see doors in the Resident Evil series. Um, I do believe that this game was just a testing pilot for uh, what Resident Evil 4 would be on engine-wise. However, the gameplay is still tank control style. I, however, love the tank control style. Oh, that's right. We're going to do this first. I'm not going to go out and do the original zombie thing. <laughs> that gunfire. I'm counting on you to investigate, Jill. Sure thing, Wesker. Got cold feet already? That's not like you. If you ever watched my voiceover video, which probably should be in the sidebar, I did this intro as opposed to the original one where you go and you see the zombie over Kenneth's body. This is the alternate way. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Who is it?
this to Wesker. Made it back in. Okay. I'll stop it here. That's where I stopped the intro in my other video, too. Now, what I like about this game and why I would recommend it to people over the original is that it is the original. It just improves on it tenfold. The graphics are better. The voice acting quality is ten times better. And um, just the overall feel of the game is, is it's just a lot more tolerable. And I understand that a lot of people aren't, uh, especially my viewers, are not graphics whores. However, it is nice to sometimes have the aesthetic on a game that you absolutely love be boosted up so that way everybody can enjoy it, or you can go back and enjoy it again. Because when they rebuild something from the ground up, generally they add a bunch to it. And this does have a, a bunch added to it. And, I mean, it's, it's also an iconic thing because it's also a piece of history. Capcom signed a crazy deal with Nintendo making these Resident Evils exclusive starting with this one. And this one has still been a Nintendo exclusive. Because before this, where is it? Nintendo pretty much got shafted on uh, Resident Evil games. Except for, where is it? I might have a... Uh... Except for this. <laughs> Which is a big pile of shit. <laughs> but, uh... Before that, they got shafted, and I mean, this game went on Nintendo, and it went nowhere else, and I'm, I'm totally shocked that this game did not go on Xbox, it did not go on PS2, it didn't go on any of the new consoles, I mean, it went on the Wii, but it's the same game with the new play control scheme. Um, the game is great, though, I mean, if you can play it on your Wii with composite cables, um, component cables, or you can play it on your GameCube with S-Video, it still looks mint to this day. Um... The sequences that everybody loves are still there. He still makes reference about being a Jill Sandwich. Uh, they did correct the master of, you know, <laughs> with you, the master of unlocking. Take it with you. They improved that. Um, and the action is harder. I mean, everybody knows that Crimson Heads, which I won't ruin, ruin for you, uh, but if you have played it, you know that Crimson Heads are scary as fuck. They're probably the scariest enemies when you're replaying this. <laughs> Definitely the scariest enemies. I know the first time, man, they scared the shit out of me. I actually, uh, I played this game, I was in high school when it came out. And, uh, like a lot of these games I'm reviewing, actually, this game came out while I was in high school. I had my Pepe, yeah, take me to Toys R Us to go buy this thing. Um, and it was great, man. It scared the crap out of me. This game's still creepy to this day, and it's definitely, if you're going off of scares, this is one of the scariest Resident Evils, um, I know this is, my house is a house that Silent Hill built. <laughs> However, I did start with Resident Evil, and this game is still kind of creeps you out to this day if you're playing it by yourself in the dark. So, is it worth it? It's definitely worth it. I'm pretty sure you can find this game online for anywhere from $10 to $20, and if you got the setup to do it, do it. I mean, if you really want to, you can buy the Wii version. I don't know all that much about the Wii version. I know that I don't like the Wiimote for controls. I played the Resident Evil 4 version like that. Uh, I think that the good old-fashioned GameCube controller is the way to go when you're playing this. But, I mean, it's really up to you. Either way, you can check it out for under $20, I guarantee you. Thank you guys for watching.